Hey guys, McJeffries here, and guess what? I am still ill. Uh, today is Wednesday, it is Cities in Motion Day. I'm recording this on the same day that it's going up again, because I'm struggling to get my timetable in order. But I'm going to start here at the Metro Hub. I fixed the problem for about five minutes, and now it's messed up again. Something has to change, and what I'm going to do at the moment is I've closed the two City Express lines, and I've waited a little bit until some of the trains in the depot are, are at 100% and now I've reopened it and we're going to see how that gets on I think the depots are too far away you can see here already there's a huge queue of trains waiting to get back into their depots something is definitely not right here um, so I'm going to have to come back to that some other time I'd like to not have to worry about that too much right now what I want to worry about today is trams. Now I had a request from let me just find the comment it's in here somewhere uh, Felix Train that's who it was. Felix Train. Sorry guys I had it ready to go and then I forgot where I'd left it. But yes, Felix Train wanted me to put a tramway around this avenue here. And it's something that I actually mentioned in one of my old videos about doing that idea. Uh, and I like that idea. I think it's a good idea. The one thing I'd like to make different is turn this road here into an avenue. That would be my one change. Uh, but apart from that, I'm I'm happy to do that. That's a really, really good idea. So, I'm going to rebuild this road, first of all. Or see if I can rebuild this road. And then I'm going to build the tram. And again, this is something unique for me. I haven't really built a tramway like I've got planned before. Right, that's not going to work. So, if we remove that road and that road... We'll have to rebuild them in a minute. That should now go over quite nicely. There we go. So where was it from? It was from here. It sort of went up this way. Like that. And joined up like that. And then on this side. Came down like that. Around like that. And joined up like that. There we go. Now I'm going to do the same thing for this bit here. Turn it into Avenue. They're not going to let me. The road bends too sharply and the slope of the road is too steep. Really? What if I brought it in from this angle? There we go. So we've got a bit of curve on there now. And you can see it is a, a long slope. But we've also eliminated the tunnel. So that's kind of cool. Bit of a slope there though. That'll do. That's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. There's there's me being ill that you can hear. There's me being ill. All right. Um. So what's the plan? Well, let me think. This metro problem is is really starting to bug me now. I try and sell trains to make space, and then I run out of trains, so I have to buy trains again, and then uh, the whole thing happens all over again. The problem is it treats these as junctions, even though they're not. This isn't a junction at all, but the train won't like queue up directly behind. It'll wait here. You can see there. It waits there. It won't fill up that gap, which eventually means they all back up to here. This train won't go into there now, um, and they all just queue. You can see the queue starting to build. This uh, this station isn't as busy as I want it to be just yet. It's getting there though. It is getting there. Right. Um, so yeah, I'm going to build a tram. I think that the, the easiest thing for me to do is just to build a double track loop. So we'll start here. And we'll head off in this direction. We're going to have some really popular stops and we're going to have some really unpopular stops. 
I've pretty much figured that out. I'm sure you can guess which stops are going to be more popular than others just by looking at this this outline now. I'm also breaking one of my rules. This bit not so much, but uh, along the front there I'm breaking my rule about half the circle isn't actually covering any buildings. Uh, so it's sort of like a wasted wasted thing to do. But down here it should be okay. Th hopefully there'll be some more roads building up over here once I get around to actually starting to expand the city. Some more. I wish I'd made this game multiplayer so that people could help me. <laughs> Might see if there's a way of moving it. People come into the game with me and help me out. Don't know if the, the guys who watch these videos have seen, but um, I regularly stream Space Engineers now. And I actively welcome people to come into the game and help out. And they do. And they're absolutely brilliant. We've built some really, really cool things. And it's it sort of made me want to do that for a lot of games. So I was going to restart my CIMX series doing that as well. Right, the last thing I want to do is piece of track in this direction and like that. That should do it. Okay. And now for the last piece of the puzzle. This bit is how the vehicles get back to the depot. It's not actually crucial to uh, the way the system works. Um... Where am I going to put the depot, actually? That's a pretty decent curve, so it'll go there. Do I bring it in from this way, or do I bring it in from this way? I'm going to try that. Just as a loop. I might not put the depot here, actually. I might put that as a stop. <coughs> <coughs> Actually, no, I can't. I have to put this as a depot, really. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay, I got an idea. Demolish that piece of track. So this is a right turn, like that. And then... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I got a plan. That's a pretty decent curve there. And that into that is more than manageable. And that's more than manageable also. So this track's now going to extend a little bit longer. It means we can get rid of the Maya line. Boy, was I looking forward to getting rid of that bus line. That was shocking. Or I might still keep it just to supplement this. So you have like an express and a stopping version again. How far down this can I make it go? This is turning out to be a lot longer than I want it to be. I might as well make it come all the way down to the end now. Aha. Okay. So it's not going to end up on this line. It is going to end up at its own terminus. And that's going to go here like that, with some track coming out and around onto this. So the this is the Elizarines. No, this is the Carmine South. Yeah, this is the Carmine South line, guys. And it's quite busy, as you can see. Um, it's about to get busier because actually, I don't want exec stops here. I just want normal ones. It's now going to be an interchange point. So there we go. That's the last stop on the line. That's the first stop on the line. And we're going to have one there and there. One there and there. Um, there and there. Wow, I'm just realising how complicated this is going to be to build and plan as well. Whew, I've I've do not make things easy for myself. Uh right, there and no not there. There. You have to demolish that one. Preferably without taking out the entire road, which I somehow managed to do. 
Um, there and there. Okay, here's the bit where I want them to interchange. So it's going to go there and there. So because of that, I can fit another set. One there like that and one there like that. They just about cross over. Now we've got a similar problem here. So I'm going to build a road like that. Just to stop that from being an issue, we'll have to go there and there. So you can see now there's quite a gap between that set of stops and that set of stops. But that's fine, that shouldn't be a problem. At this point in the journey there's probably going to be big gaps anyway so... Right, I'm going to have another stop there. And then the next one on this set of things is going to be there. There's also going to be one there but there's also going to be one uh, there just before it turns right. So that should make all this area covered. And then there's going to be one there and there's going to be one there. But there's also going to be one there and one there. I don't think many people are going to use these stops in particular, but it's just a case they want to go around the other the other way around the loop. <coughs> right. So that's all set up and ready to go. Now we just got to do the loop itself, which is going to be made uh I guess the same, so staggered, one there and one there. Um, one on this side there and one on this side there there and there uh, there and actually no I want that one to be more there so that one I'm going to make more there so in theory you'll always be able to get on a tram and head in, in one direction in a direction. Because this is a loop, you should be able to just be able to transfer onto a different tram once you get to where you want to go and I don't know what I'm saying. My head's all over the place at the moment. It's the cold, it's what it does to a man. Right. There and there. Someone I think it was uh hang on, let me get the name up again. Troy wished me well so uh, thank you Troy I'll try and get better I know these videos sound horrendous with my voice all like this my stream last night wasn't particularly good because of my voice and it took me a couple of hours to fully get going but then once I did we made some really cool things so <coughs> right stops there and then we'll go have some more stops I'm waiting for these buildings to become big, so we're actually going to stagger these stops like we have on the Elizarin line. Lots of stops. And the uh, I think the Carmine line north has stops like this as well, but not so much in the south. So we're going to have one there like that, and we're going to have one there like that. And on this section we're going to have one there, one there, There and no, not there. There. So another one I'm gonna have to delete. Um. There and there. Some in the middle of this bit. We're nearly done. Nearly done, guys. We have a final one there and there. And then, oh, we need two more actually one there and one there and that should be it guys we should have everything connected up how are we doing for time 14 minutes so by the time I finish this we should have reached 20 minutes which is the perfect time for an episode I'm not looking forward to them navigating this bit this might impact on what trams I decide to use maybe go for some small ones what trams have we got available Ones that bend in the middle. So we've got the Louis Qatar, that bends in the middle. The Rail Cad, that bends in the middle, but it's not got great capacity. Um, 
So yeah, it's kind of what do people want to see? That's the one we've got on the Carmine line, and that is quite flexible. And I think the Master is as well. But for now, I'm going to go for some rail cads. We're going to buy. Let's go 50 rail cads S200s. <coughs> Excuse me. Do it like that, and then we're going to go. C West loop um, clockwise, and that's going to be timetabled to the same as the first tram line I find on the list. The Maroon line, the tram every 45 minutes, and then half an hour during rush hour. That that should work. That should work as a starter. So we've got to map it out. I'm only going to map out one of these in the episode, guys. The other one I'm going to do off camera.